Welcome to TechWizard Zamaru. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect the MySQL Workbench or Heidi SQL to the Google Cloud SQL locally using Google Cloud Proxy. So, in previous my videos, I have showed you where you will add the public IP and add your um, uh, network and then connect to it. But in this video, we are going to work on a Cloud SQL Proxy to connect to our GCP uh, MySQL. Here is uh, my MySQL instance, uh, and you can see that it is MySQL 8.0. And uh, if you notice here, uh, I have not added uh, any IP here. Uh, most of the time, if you remember that, uh, if we go to the configuration here, uh, we always go ahead and add our network, uh, so it allow us uh, to connect from our uh, local computer. But in this case, uh, I haven't done that. Um, so notice right here, I haven't added a network, um, and I have enabled public. IP so uh, we will know that this is the public IP of our SQL um, or MySQL uh, that's our public IP but we are not going to use even uh, uh, to the public IP or anything like that we will be using an instance a connection name um, and we will be using a proxy uh, here now first of all I will put this link in the description so you can download and here are the steps um, so if you uh, uh, you will be probably starting from here you know and uh, what we are going to do uh, first of all you know enable the api so this is uh, uh, to enable a cloud sql admin api okay go ahead and uh, click right there and uh, uh, it's uh, going to take you there but in my case it's already enabled so we don't have to enable so i just want to show you and uh, you can see right there you confirm your project uh, and uh, hit next uh, and uh, again and, uh, you will say enable uh, so in my case uh, i was uh, already taken a look and it is uh, enable uh. so this is good once you are have enable then uh, let's go to the next step and uh, next step is uh, install and initialize the g cloud cli so click right there and it's going to open uh, a link for us uh, and then we can go further right here and uh, download the Google Cloud CLI installer. So let's click right there and uh, it's uh, going to ask you, hey, we want to download. Yes, uh, download. And uh, it was already right here. I downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and save. Yes. And uh, it will be saved here. And now we can go ahead and execute. So I'm going to double click here and it's going to start uh, installing. Hit next. And uh, I agree and uh, you can use uh, the name here or all users uh, hit next uh, and uh, hit next uh, so this is just a normal installation uh, where you can uh, hit next 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 uh, and it will be all done now so our google cloud cli setup is completed uh, and uh, let's uh, hit next and uh, hit uh, finish and uh, now we are all set here and uh, uh, we don't really need to log in and all that from here so we can just simply close this one and the path uh, it got installed uh, it is uh, right here okay so that's uh, where it is so this is what you are gonna see is something like that now our next step is uh, we are going to uh, go back here and then uh, our step three will be downloading the proxy uh, now see right here we are done with this one and uh, we don't have to do this one uh, so we are going to go with straightforward with the and downloading uh, uh, proxy click right there and uh, it's uh, get downloaded it asks you where you would like to download and uh, simply i can go ahead and uh, download in this folder and uh, instead of uh, uh, moving it later first uh, to the download and then bring it here so i can simply co copy the path and uh, just download here in this path okay and also you will uh, rename it you will remove this uh, um, it will just leave its cloud sql proxies you know and uh, remove this uh, x64 and save it uh, that uh, now we see right here in the folder and we are all good next part is oh, we need a, a connection string here so to connect uh, and uh, this is how it is going to work so if you go further right there and uh, this is uh, your uh, uh, cloud uh, SQL proxy that's what you're gonna call this is your executable and uh, that's uh, the information you need to provide uh, so first of all see right here dash instances equal to an instance connection name uh, so what you're gonna do you're gonna go back to your uh, um, SQL in MySQL instance uh, and then uh, you're going to copy this information right there connection uh, connection name so you can copy right there and uh, just uh, paste it right there 
and then uh, you have a TC, uh, TCP uh, 0, 0.000 so this is going to be your 127.0.0 so just copy that and paste it there and port is 3306 so that's for our MySQL instance so now I'm gonna paste right there and uh, here you provide 3306 so and you're all good you can copy this from here and uh, then uh, paste in uh, uh, your notepad and uh, right here and you're all good so you can simply you don't have to do this uh, dot backslash and all that so you can simply even uh, take this part of it and uh, first of all what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to this folder here and uh, let's open the CMD and uh, navigate to this folder so CMD and uh, open CMD and uh, then I will say CD to this uh, path that we just copied where our clouds SDK is installed now we are there and uh, from uh, here I'm gonna copy that uh, um, slash instance and all and here uh, I need to call cloud so there are cloud uh, environment dot batch bad file but we don't need to do that we need to call cloud sql proxy dot xz okay that we just downloaded and uh, saved in this uh, folder and then I'm going to paste uh, dash instance equal to that uh, the connection name and uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, tcp 127.0.01336 so hit enter and uh, just wait for it okay so now you're all good and what you have to do you have to open uh, your uh, uh, ID SQL application or uh, workbench uh, and uh, then connect uh, so here I'm going to delete this one uh, current one and I'm going to add new and uh, you will uh, use uh, this IP and uh, your username I'm going to use the root user and uh, going to use the password that I used uh, when I was creating a GCP MySQL instance uh, hit open and you can see right there it opened and also you can see uh, right here it uh, uh, connection new connection you know it show you right there okay now what we are going to do here we can uh, go ahead and uh, let me show you first here on my instance the database is here and you can see right we have a test database here so what I'm going to do I'm going to drop a database instead of uh, drop so I can execute this statement drop database test uh, it should be gone and let's create a, a new database called test1 so we created a new database uh, let me take you back uh, here and uh, let's uh, refresh our tab and you can see that uh, test has gone we have dropped it and a new database test uh, is created uh, so your connection uh, to your GCP MySQL instance uh, is done from the or you have created from the uh, your local uh, uh, machine uh, by using a proxy and uh, you're connected uh, to the by using highly SQL here but you can use the same with the my uh, SQL workbench uh, same you know IP will stay 127.0.0.1 and the username and password you will provide uh. so this is how it will work if you will go ahead and close this uh, uh, and uh, hit uh, no and then uh, you will come back here and uh, to end this uh, you will say control C and it will uh, uh, terminate the connection so this is how you will use a proxy uh, to connect uh, uh, to your GCP SQL instance. Uh, again, let me repeat uh, the steps real quick, uh, uh, very easy and straightforward. You know, you will uh, uh, first of all uh, you enable the API, and then uh, you will uh, download the Google G Cloud CLI, and uh, next uh, you're gonna download the executable and rename and. Uh, place uh, where your uh, Google uh, G Cloud uh, SQL uh, CLI uh, uh, download uh, is installed and then finally what you will do you will create this uh, um, string uh, that will be instance it will be your uh, connection name and TCP is equal to your uh, 127.0.0.1306 that's uh, uh, the IP and the uh, port for uh, the for the local you will be using and uh, then uh, this is your uh, executable so you'll open the CMD 
and uh, navigate to the where uh, your uh, G Cloud CLI software is installed and then uh, uh, you have copied uh, this uh, G Cloud SQL uh, proxy executable already there and uh, you can simply run from there as I show you right here so if you will do directory you can see right uh, there see it is uh, right there so we call that I hope uh, this video is, will help you and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, and I will see you guys in the next video